I'm Jay Goldman, host of Mr. Mobile. Today we're going to take a look at some of the software that runs on Palm's new smartphone, the Pre. The Pre runs WebOS, a Linux-based operating system for smartphones that will be appearing on some future devices from Palm in addition to the Pre. It's taken them a couple of years to get it ready for prime time, but they've done a really fantastic job at producing a very good looking and very easy to use smartphone operating system that supports multi-touch screens and gestures. One of its advantages over things like the iPhone is the ability to do multitasking or to run multiple applications at the same time. Clicking on the ball at the bottom of the screen takes you into card view where you can see all of the applications that are running and jump into any of them by tapping. If you'd like to quit an application, you just swipe it out the top of the screen and it will close and the rest will, will come together to take its place. It includes a pretty decent browser built on WebKit, so it's very similar browsing experience to something like the iPhone. And you can do things like double tap and use gestures to zoom in. You can also use gestures in the gesture bar on the bottom of the screen to switch back and forth between pages. It includes a wave for doing quick launching, which you access by putting your finger on the gesture bar and swiping up giving access to the four most commonly used applications and the launcher for access to the rest. The launcher is configurable for the bar along the bottom so that when you use the wave, you can access the applications you want access to most importantly. The phone includes an accelerometer support for turning sideways, which is accessible in all applications like the web browser for giving you access to a wider screen. Other hardware features on the phone like the GPS and camera are available to the other applications as well, so you get an experience not unlike using an iPhone with a full app store. One of the more interesting features included on the Palm and not seen on many other smartphones is the notification area at the bottom of the screen. A small row of icons appears here. At the moment, this phone is showing that we have a new email message, and tapping on those icons opens the, no the notification bar. Any of the items that appear here, which can include things like the phone is charging or the battery is low, you've received new instant messages or SMS, you have a new email, can be tapped on to go directly into that application to that location. So in this case, I can tap to go directly into mail and see the new message that's come in. Notifications are a great way to navigate through the phone without having to pop up alerts all the time and a much needed feature that's missing from some of the other smartphones. Thanks for watching today's episode. Take a look at the rest of the series for an in-depth look at some of the other applications.